It's the untold story of ropes and chains on Modern Marvels. In another area in the plant, even more specialized work is done. From archery wire and delicate suture thinner than a human hair to braid and forced harnesses for mining work and jet engines. The braids are as diverse as the customers. And today's braiding is getting even tougher, expanding into metals such as copper or stainless steel. But unlike ropes, the metal weaves have a more energetic purpose. The textile side of the market is typically used to tie off or hold something. The wire side is usually used to carry current, or like a copper wire is used to carry current, or it's a stainless steel wire is used to protect it. The maypole interweaving from metals is similar to rope, but these materials weren't exactly made for braiding. There are so many different little intricacies about the wire process. It's so much more demanding from an engineering standpoint than the textile process. It's an unforgiving wire, it's hard. Um, on a behemoth like this, you're using rollers instead of eyelets. This monster machine turns out copper braid five inches wide. It will be used for electrical wiring. Growing demand has meant up to 15% of Gladding's business is now in wire. While metals can be twisted to gain incredible toughness, they can also be turned into symbols of wealth and prestige. Gladding's 50 workers are far outnumbered by the braiding machines, over 2,000 of them, and the machinery. Some new, some even dating back to the early 1900s, needs constant care. This little guy here is what keeps this place going, the oil. It makes the maintenance shop one busy place. Preventive maintenance, that's the big thing. There's guys oiling continuously. There's something like 2,700 braiders running out there, and they're all cast iron, and they need oil daily. It's a big job to keep up with it all. 